Hello there. You are coming to today's class. You are coming to Mr. Willie. We are really smart class. And today we will be solving simultaneous equation. What are simultaneous equation? Simultaneous equation are two or more equations with unknowns. That is two or more unknowns. And if you look at simultaneous equation, the, why, the reason why they call it simultaneous equation is that you solve for the variables simultaneously. That is together. So we will be using the elimination method for today's class. And if you are to use the elimination method, the elimination method revolves around getting rid of one of the variables, then you solve for the left variables. Now, for example, now if you are having equations, two equations, and you are to solve for the unknown x and the unknown y, your target could be to get rid of the y, then you solve for x, or you get rid of the x and solve for y. Now, if you pay attention to this class, to, to this lesson, you will see how we can get rid of the one of the variables, then we we'll solve for the other variables. Now, I want you to come along with me and see how we can use elimination method to solve our to solve for the unknown in a simultaneous equation. Now, if you look at this now, we're having 3x minus y equals to 5, 2x plus 5 equals to 5. Now, we want to we need to get rid of one of the variables. We need to get rid of either of x or y. Then we we'll solve for the variables that we are left with. Now, if you look at these two equations, you will see that y, the y in the two equations have similar coefficient. And what is a coefficient? Coefficient is a number placed together with a variable. Or coefficient is a number multiplied with a variable. If you look at this y, for the first equation, the variable for y is 1. And the variable for this y is 1. Now, how do I get rid of this y? If you look at this now, if you want to get rid of y, it is left for you to determine whether you want to add it or subtract it. Now, you, this is our equation 1. This is our equation 2. Now, how do I get rid of this y? You know that this is so, minus y and plus y. If I should subtract equation 2 from equation y, we are not going to have, we will not be able to get rid of our, of our y because it will be y minus y minus, minus 10 plus. Remember, minus 10 plus is minus, so it will be minus y minus y. So, what we need to do is that we add these two equations together. We are going to add it together. That is the first equation, which is 3x minus y equals to 5. We add it to 2x, the second equation, which says 2x plus y equals to 5. Now, 3x plus 2x, that would be what? That would be 5x, right? Now, minus y plus plus y. Now, plus 10 plus is plus. So, minus y plus y, it will cancel each other. It will cancel each other. Then you have 5 plus 5. 5 plus 5 is what? 10. What's the next thing? You divide both sides with the coefficient of x. And what's the coefficient of x in this equation? That's 5. So, you divide it by 5. Divide the two sides. 5. So, 5 will cancel 5. And 5 in 10, that will be what? 2. So our x is what? Our x is 2. Now we have solved for x. Now how do we solve for y? What you need to do is that you go back to equation 1. After you are in equation, we go back to equation 1. Then you substitute for x. No, now we have solved for x as 2 now. So equation 1 says that 3x minus y equals to 5. You know that we solve for x as, and we solve for x as our x is 2. So instead of writing 3x, it will be 3 times 2, so x is 2 now, minus y, equals to what? 5. What is 3 times 2? 3 times 2 is what? That will be 6 minus y, equals to what? Equals to 5. 3, 6 minus y, equals to 5. Now, we are going to make use of this little space now. 6 minus y, equals to 5. And what next now? I'm going to move this y to this side, in order to remove the y. You remove the minus right there. So, you have 6 equals to 5 plus y now that we have plus y i can move this 5 to this side it turns to minus 5 that will be 6 minus 5 equals to y so 6 minus 5 is what that's 1 our y is 1 now you know that we solve for 2 now you know y y is equals to 1 y x is equals to 2 can we check yes we can now how do you check we can use any of the equation let's assume that we want to check with our equation one now 3x minus y equals to 5 we solve for x as 2, right? So that will be 3. Instead of writing x, it will be 3 times 2 minus what's our y? Our y is what? 1 minus 1. Now, 3 times 2 is what? 6 minus 1. What is 6 minus 1? 5. You can see that after we input the values for y and x and we sorted it out, we're able to have what? 5. Meaning that we are correct. 5 equals 5. Now, let's move to second example. And if you can, I believe you are looking at me, you are, you are paying close attention to the class. 2x plus 3y equals to 5. 2x 
plus 5y equals to 11. Now, if you look at these two equations, we are still using the limiting method. We have variable x, we have variable y. Variable x is having similar coefficient. That is, for the first equation, you are having 2. The 2 is the coefficient of x in the first equation. And for the second equation, you are having 2 again. So, that is very simple. Now, it's very, you, are, you get rid of one of the variables. How do you get rid of either x or y? It's very simple. All you need to do is just subtract. If I should subtract this equation 1, if I subtract equation 2 from equation 1, it will cancel each other. The x will cancel each other because we have a similar coefficient. Now, watch me do it. That will be 2x minus 2x. It will be 0, right? Now, 3y minus 5y. 3y minus 5 will give us minus 2y, right? Minus 2y equals to 5 minus 11. That will be minus 6. What's the next thing? Divide both sides by minus 2. Divide both sides by minus 2. Minus 2 will cancel minus 2. We will be left with y. Then, minus, minus will cancel minus 2 in 6. That's 3, right? So y is 3 now. Now, we can solve for x by substituting for the value of y in equation 1. So, you have having 2x plus 3y equals to 5. Now, we solve for y as 3 now. So, that will be 2x plus 3. Instead of writing y, we've already solved for y as 3. So, we put 3 here equals to 5, right? So, that will be 2x equals plus 3 times 3. That's 9 equals to 5. What's the next thing? You're having 2x equals to 5. I will move the 9 to the other side. When we move the 9 to the other side, it turns to minus. So, that will be minus 9. So, that will be 2x equals to 5 minus 9. What is 5 minus 9? That will be minus 4. The next thing to divide both sides with the coefficient of x, which is 2. So, when you divide it by 2, 2, 2, 2, you cancel 2, you are left with x. And this is plus. The minus divided by plus is will give you minus 4 divided by 2. That will be 2. So, your x is minus 2. Now, we are going to check to verify to find out if truly we are right or wrong. We want to check now. Now, if you are to check, look at this now. We have 2x plus 3y equals to 5. Now, we are going to substitute in the values for y. y is 3, x is minus 2. Now, that will be 2 bracket x, our x as minus 2 plus 3, our y as 3. 2 times minus 2, that will be minus 4 plus 3 times 3, that will be 9. Now, minus 4 plus 9, that will be 5. You can see that the equation says that 2x plus 2y should give us 5. And we are already solving that 5 equals to 5. It's as simple as A, B, C. All you need to do is that when it comes to elimination method, you must look for a way to get rid of the first of the, one of the variables. After getting rid of the, first, I mean, the one of the variables, then you solve for the left variable. After you have the value for the left variable, then you now use that same, the value that you have for one of the variables to go and solve for the variable that you've eliminated. Okay, let's move on to the next example for this class, which is example 3. And for example 3, we are having 3x plus 4y equals to 25. And we have 2x minus y equals to 2. Now, you know that we are making use of elimination method. And if we are making use of elimination method, we are having two variables for the two equations. So our target is that we get rid of one of the variables. Then we solve for the value of the variable that is left. Now that we're after having a value of the, the, the variable that is left, we now go back to solve for the value of variables that we eliminated in the first step. Now look at this. This is our equation one. This is our equation two. Now, how do we get rid of our of one of the variables now? If you look at this now, we're having x here, we're having the variables, the two variables are x and y, and the coefficient that is the number beside the variables for x is three and two, for y is four and one. Now, if we are to get rid of y. Let's start get to y now. It will be doable if you just multiply equation 2 with 4. If you multiply equation 2 with 4, it is doable. What do we do? We just do 4 times 2. That will be 8x minus 4y. I think it's 4 times 2. 8x, 4 times y. Then 4 times 2, 8. That will lead us to equation 3. That will lead us to equation 3. Then what next is that we are to add Equation 1 and equation 3 together. Why do we need to add? If we, if we, if we decide to subtract, this minus will just be minus times minus and will turn to plus 4y. Then we, 4y won't we'll be able to cancel out 4y. So add one and equation 1 and 2 together. That will be 8s, 3s plus 8s. That will give us 11x. Now, plus times minus is minus. So 4y will cancel minus 4y. Then 25 plus 8. That's what? 33. 
What's the next thing? The next thing is what? We divide by the coefficient of x, which is 11. So divide both sides by 11, divide both sides by 11, 11 will cancel 11, right? And 33 divided by 11, that will be what? x is 3. Our x is 3. Now, the next is to solve for the variable that we eliminated in the first place, which was y. So how do we solve for y now? You go back to the first equation. You can use any of the equations. So we're going to use our first equation now. 3x plus 4y equals to 25. And I'm going to input my x now. You know that x has been solved as 3. That will be 3, bracket 3. That is 3 times 3 plus 4y equals to 25. And 3 times 3 that's 9 plus 4y equals to what? Equals to 25. Now our target is to solve for y. So I'm going to move this line to this side. So this will turn to, it will turn to 4y equals to 25 minus 9. Now, the five minus 9 is what? That will be 16. Y, 4y is 4y. You divide both sides by the coefficient of y, which is 4. Your y is what? 4. So our x is 3. Y, our y is 4. Now, let's check. Let's check whether we are right or wrong. Let's check. Now, how do we check? Just watch it. Watch it. How do we check? We want to check whether the mm, the value for the two variables are correct. Now, how do you know for the value for two variables? Now, by the time you input the value for each variables, you must be able to get the result when you add it together or when you subtract from each other. Now, you know that we want to use equation 2, now, equation 1 and 3x plus 4y equals to 25. Now, you know that our x is 3, right? That will be 3 times 3 plus 4y. Our y is 4. So, times 4. What is 3 times 3? That will be 9. Plus 4 times 4, what? That's 16. 9 plus 16, that's 25. You can that. This we are having 9 plus 16 is 25. 25 equals to 25, which shows that we are correct. Now let's go to the last example for today. But before we go to the last example for today, I want to tell you something important. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please kindly do. I put in quality videos every week. So if you join my channel, if you join my class, you can be rest assured of having quality mathematics class with me now let's move on to the last example for today which is example four now if you have 3k plus 4l equals to one and you have the next one 2k plus 5l equals to three this is our equation one this is our equation two now if you look at the two variables here k and l you can see that the two variables they have different coefficient for this k three and two for four where well, you have four and five so how do we get rid of one of the variables when none of the variables is having similar coefficient it is very simple all you need to do is that you can you can use this method like you know that i want to target k you want to get rid of k first you know that the coefficient of k in the first equation is three now that three i'm going to use to multiply equation two why the coefficient for k in equation two which is two i will use to multiply equation one then i will sort that two times three is what that will be six k Plus and two times four that will be eight hell two times four that will be two right this will turn to equation three now the next one is equation two let's have three times two that will be six k again six k three times five that will be fifteen l and three times three that will be nine that will be equation four what's next thing the next thing is to subtract equation four from three if you do that six k will be able to cancel six k so six k minus six k you cancel each other now. 8L minus 15L, that will be 7 minus 7L minus 7L uh, 2 minus 9, that will be minus 7. What's the next thing? The next thing is to, was you divide both sides by the coefficient of L, which is minus 7. So if you divide both sides by minus 7, minus 7 will cancel minus 7, right? Then minus 7 will be one, minus 7, that will be your L is 1. Now that we will have our value. We have L as 1. We will now go back to, let's use equation 2 now. Let's solve our, our K. So, you know that equation 2 says that 2K plus 5L equals to 3. That's equation 2. Now, we are solving for K now. That will be 2K plus 5L. We won't write L now. We will substitute the value for L that we have solved, which is 1. 5 bracket 1 equals to 3. And that will be 2K plus 5 times 1, that is 5, equals to 3. Now, I'm going to move this 5 to the other side. That will be 2k equals to 3 minus 5. 3 minus 5 is what? That will be minus 2. Now, you divide both sides by 2. You divide both sides by 2. 2 will cancel to write. 2 here 1, 2 here 1. So, your k is minus 1. Our k is minus 1. Now, let's check whether 
our answer is correct whether the answer the value that we have for the two variable for the k and n whether they are correct so we are going to check and i can pick any of the equations but i'm going to go for equation one 3k plus 4l equals to 1 now you know that our k is what minus 1 so that will be 3 bracket minus 1 plus 4 uh, and our 1 is what our l is 1 rather so how do you get it if you are if the values for the two variables are correct we are to end up having one just as the equal equation in the first place indicated so three times minus one that'll be minus three plus four times one minus three plus four that's what that's one Get that one equals to one this shows that we are correct that's how to solve your simultaneous equation is the elimination method don't forget that your target is to get rid of one of the variables first by making sure that the, the, the variable have similar coefficient but then you can then add or subtract it after you have done that then you solve for the left variable now that you have your answer for the left variable you have the value for the left variable you now go back to solve for the what for the variable that you eliminated in the first place and not forget to check if the variable what if the variables are correct you can you've seen how we've checked it so i will i will check it throughout the lesson throughout the lesson so make sure you check the value of yours and make sure you practice as many times as possible so that you can get better in solving simultaneous equation thank you for being part of my class i'm looking forward to having my name in my next class thank you so much god bless you